Alright guys, welcome to the Feed the Beast server. The new look Feed the Beast server, as this is what I've been spending most of my week doing. Um, Anya gets really bad motion sickness when she plays Minecraft in particular. So the detail level, the noise in the regular texture pack gives her headaches really quickly. So the first thing I tend to have to do when we play Minecraft is make a texture pack that's a bit smoother. Hence the new look. It's not yet complete because Feed the Beast has so much stuff to actually texture. But it has reached a point where everything sort of looks mostly cohesive. Um, I have not yet done all the ores because there are so many ores and I haven't even found where they all live in the texture files. But everything else is kind of getting there to the point where this is the general aesthetic that the pack will have. Now, this here is that little hole that we built. It's been expanded somewhat and turned into a huge communal storage facility. It's where we're keeping all of the stuff here. And let me just figure out what's going on with my sound. Right, <clears throat> as I was saying, uh, this entire area is built over a huge network of caves and sheep. Noisy fuckers. If you watch the map up the top there, you'll see the start of some of this cave. So that's what we've mined out in order to get all those materials. But Mike and Anya have already split off to parts unknown, that's a zombie, to create their own little base areas, which I have not yet done. Now, what I will do is, because we've got that zombie spawner, I'll be setting up a XP trap of some description. <clears throat> and in order to do that in the best way, I'm going to need something from the nether. Now, we've got this set up already. It came out right on the edge of a massive lake of lava, which was actually sort of convenient. Once again, if you look at the map, you'll see the lava. We've been using that to power a geothermal generator. I don't exactly know how that works because I didn't build it. All I do is come in here every now and then with aluminium cans and fill up stacks upon stacks upon stacks of cans with lava and then throw them in the machine, which is great but not what I need at the moment. What I need is, oh, uh, the stuff to make a potion brewing stand. Because if I'm making an undead ooh, XP trap, I'm gonna want splash potions of healing, which means finding blaze rods. Now, Anya's already been in here and harvested up the nether wart, which I guess would have been there. So the nether wart's in her base. I'm not actually sure where her base is. So next time she's on, I'll be able to get some nether wart. But she does not have, ooh, that's a lot of nasties. She does not yet have any blaze rods. So that's what I'm hunting for. And perhaps, with the heads if I get really lucky. Fortunately, I'm not exactly epically equipped to handle the nether, but that one didn't even seem to notice me, so that worked out fine. But this is a bit too much. Oh, 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 to hope for. Oh, come on, come on. God damn, how many hit points you got? Oh shit, now there's four of them. Oh, boy. All right, all right. Jump, jump. Come on, you little bastards. Magma cream is... Ow! Never terrible to have. Using a ruby sword at the moment because we found very few diamonds. Plenty of rubies and the like, but very, very few diamonds. So diamond tools, not really something we've got our hands on. 
So, somewhere in here. We should hopefully find some blazers. Watch myself. Oh, there's one. I'm gonna watch myself because. Whoa, and three withers. Alright. That's fine. I'll just. Shoot the withers. That's nice and simple. The blazers are a bit less simple because I need this. Their rods to not fall into. Whoa! Into the lava. I don't think I've mentioned yet, but I'm obviously wearing a jetpack. The jetpack is the coolest thing that Feed the Beasts adds by. Oh! Uh, damn. By quite a margin. Let's get into the safety of this little hole. So it should be fully charged, I hope. Yes, it is. And that makes going into the nether a lot safer. Whoa! But still not without its perils. I don't think he dropped a blaze rod. No, just some XP. Oh, shit, there's another one. Alright, let's charge him. Ooh! Where are you? Oh! No blaze rod? No blaze rod. As you can see in Feed the Beast, there are ores. Ores inside the nether. But once again, whoa, that ain't good. Not what I'm actually hunting for at the moment. You're burning, but I can't hear the heavy breathing noise that the... Ooh, you're aghast. I'm not a big fan of ghasts. There's another one of those, but is he over lava? No, he's not. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Oh, no, he missed. Blaze Rod! Where are you? Should we go? Yes, okay, that's one Blaze Rod. That's enough to make the... Oh, oh, what, what am I doing? What, why, why, don't attack the pigmen. Why would I attack the pigmen? All right. <clears throat> Momentary brain fart aside. Oh, damn it, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. And a second Blaze Rod. A good start. And possibly worth getting out of here though. Oh, that looks like one. As I was about to say, it'd be nice to figure out if there was a blaze spawner. And I think... Yeah, there's one. Not exactly in the best of positions. I'll have to build a... an area below that. Otherwise everything is just going to fall into the lava. But, that's good to know. We've got a blaze spawner. Oh, possibly more than one blaze spawner. Oh, and a wither. Okay. Alright, I can do this. I can do this. Got a bit of armor. Got a bow. I can. Yes, there's another blaze spawner over there. Okay. Let's charge him. Don't want knockback. Oh, okay, that, that was two. That was two. That was unexpected. That's not good. Run, run, run! Okay. Some health back. And that's an extra blaze rod. Ooh. Alright, three's gonna be enough for now. I'll come back in later with some actual. Oh, shit, that's another Willis scout. Hmm? Come back in. Armed with some potions of fire resist, I think. So, let's find my way out of here. Don't you a pigman? I don't have to kill the pigman. Where the nether wart would have been. So, I'll have to get that off on you afterwards. Jeez, there's quite a lot of areas where the nether wart would have been. Now, I just have to find my way. It's not going to be the right way. I keep forgetting that I've got a map. Also not the right way. Okay. Home is this way. I 
So you saw them built their way up here between pre jetpack times. Oh, okay. That's where home is. Where well, there must be below us. Yes. Get out of here with my loot in hand. All right, success. Ventured into the nether and got the required, well, the required blaze rods. This was going to be a farming area for Anya to put one of the farms that she knew how to make, but she built it in a slime area. So slimes kept spawning and crushing all the crops. She's since moved on to her own base, which I think has farms manned by golems, which I will check out once she's online and I can figure out where her base actually is. Uh, so let's make ourselves a... Let's see. One of those. And that works as well. Three of those. Brewing stand. Which is utterly useless at the moment because I have no another ward. Still, we'll store it in a box along with the blaze rods themselves and the magma cream, why not? And some cocoa beans. And once onion's online and I can get some another one, I can start making potions which will live alongside Mm, start up alongside the zombie spawner, which I won't go to now because it's dark. But I will. Whilst I'm hanging right around the outside, quickly show off the new look forest. Okay, my leaves are currently set to to fast mode, but oh, here we go. There's some monsters. That's not actually really what I want to be doing. myself back to the safety of what is still currently my home but only because I haven't found anywhere to go build somewhere yet and that's primarily because I haven't been exploring at all because I spent all my time staring at pixels in Photoshop so oh as I mentioned we have the zombie spawner and at one point I got myself this. Nope. That. Smite 4 Vorpal 2. Vorpal is a feed the beast uh, enchant. And it increases the chance of getting heads. So, combine that with a zombie spawner, and I have a wall of zombie heads. As well as scattered around the place, the odd skeleton head. So, at some point, I'll be able to decorate a place with heads, which is maybe a little bit more gruesome than I'm aiming for. I'll figure that out when I find out where I'm going to be making my base. So, successfully got what I need to start getting some potions brewing once I get some nether wart off on you. Over here we have a quick run of the machines that have already been built. Bunch of lava. I don't know what most of these machines are. I know this one is a recycler. Um, macerator. Compressor. A canning machine. An extractor. It's a furnace. With meat in it. That's not right. Okay, I think they were probably supposed to go in there. As well as a rolling machine, a pulverizer, whatever the hell that is, and an induction smelter. Don't actually know what any of that does. I built none of it. Over here, I did actually build this, which is a simple little device that you put ore in here, it macerates it, it smelts it, and it spits it out in the chest. So that's what I've actually managed to do. I've created that, and I've created a really basic zombie trap, which I'll quickly go show you. Just for you the monsters. 
That's Anya's old tiny little house that she made. <clears throat> I'll head towards that zombie spawner. And this is the basic trap. The zombie spawn. Let's see, do I have a... Sticks and some cobble. Do I have any cobble? Seriously, I don't have any cobble. <laughs> I'll make some cobble. Stick. Stone sword. The zombies spawn. The zombies fall. And once you've racked a bunch of them up, you simply... Hit him with a sword. At the moment. Eventually, this will use the exact same theory. But you'll just throw a, sp a splash potion of healing at them instead. Then they'll all die at once. Which will be good because that'll be a lot faster than swinging the sword at the hundred zombies you've got stacked up down there. And then you just soak in the experience. But I can't do that yet. Because Anya's stolen all the nether ward. So, once I get that sorted, I can actually work on having a proper XP trap for once. Albeit not a very good one because that's a single zombie spawner. So, when we find somewhere with better spawners, I'll make a more efficient version. But for the time being, it allows me to grind up experience, which is how we've got these are actually like a fortune and silk touch picks which has been very convenient for getting all of this material. The next thing I'm going to be doing after I make my nice little spawner is figuring out where I'm going to put my base. So I'll go for a wander at some point when it's not dark and find a cool area. I know that Mike has moved into a wasteland somewhere and Anya has, I think, gone west to a jungle, so I'll try and find a, a separate spot from them and make myself my own big base. Though this will still be a communal area that people can meet up easily. So, there you go, that's the updated look at the Feed the Beast server as of this moment. I will be showing you more stuff from the server, hopefully I'll get into the bases that have already been started at some point. And look what they're actually doing. As I said before, I think. I know Anya started up some golems, which she's been quite enamored with. So I'll check out her golem farms. And find myself somewhere to build an actual base. Sun's coming up. Beautiful morning. There are pigs and cows. Chilling. What's up, pigs? I won't kill you, because I always feel bad when I kill the pigs. So, for the time being, there's a quick look at the server, and I'll see you next time.